If you were immortal and couldn't get injured, sick, what would you do? I'd visit the reactor at Chernobyl. No one alive has seen the inside of that place. I didn't think about that. Enjoy all the amazing animals that I normally couldn't because they are dangerous. And save people from danger whenever I could. Of course. Here's a picture of me enjoying a grizzly bear while it mauls me. Oh. Here's one of me enjoying being bitten by a rattlesnake. Yikes. Look at those fangs. Ooh. And here is a picture of me enjoying being chomped down on by a shark. Ouch. Ah. Nature. Every single drug known to man all at the same time. Skydiving without a parachute. Join the military. Become an unstoppable killing machine for the military. Get dishonorably discharged. Become a cult leader then take over the government and claim the country as my own. Drive fast. Greater than every single drug known to man all at the same time underscore achievement get. How did we get here underscore? You, only underscore Maxi is Steve from Minecraft. I knew it. Probably not a legal shit. You're immortal. Not superhuman. You get arrested then you're fucked for quite a while. So probably test the limits of my immortality, injury-free self. Drink to the point of beyond alcohol poisoning. Swim to the bottom of the ocean. Dive in a volcano. Get lost in a rainforest. Edit. Alright. I get it guys. Can't swim in magma. It solidifies. Fucking nerds. Ruin my fun. Greater than drink to the point of beyond alcohol poisoning. So piss yourself got it. Fight crime. And then I would find out the conspiracy goes all the way to the top. You can still get subdued. Trapped. And incarcerated. You don't get super strength. Speed. Or stamina. So eventually they will capture you. And while they can't physically injure you. They can torture you by various way. Waterboarding. Sleep deprivation. Sensory deprivation. Make you listen to horribly out of tune music. Or brush your teeth and rinse your mouth with orange juice. Walk all the way around the world. Even through the oceans. Edit. Holy crap this comment blew up thanks guys. I only started my account a month ago but over 700 karma thanks. Not dying but still constantly drowning. I would assume once you got through the pain of your lungs filling with water you'd be fine. The pressure might be another story that you can't escape from monsieur. But the pressure would be incapable of causing harm because you can't be injured. Live exactly as normal. Learn as many languages as I can. I'd travel the world. Change my name every couple of decades. I wouldn't make any friends though. The man from Earth, I was thinking that myself. Buy a nice recliner so I could watch the stars burn out comfortably. Live in terror at the realization it was only a matter of time before I'm buried alive under. Hundreds of feet of earth and stone or pinned at the bottom of an ocean with no way to escape. Think about the times you've heard of a plane crashing in the ocean. Or people dying in landslides or avalanches. Most of those don't get recovered. They're left where they fell because it's way too much effort to unbury them just to bury them again. Your chances of having that happen to you in one lifetime are very schlemisure but if you're immortal, it rises quickly to it being the most likely outcome. Then you get to spend the rest of eternity alone, in the dark, without being able to move. Yep. And if you somehow manage to avoid those likely accidents, given enough time, the sun will go away and then everything will get further and further apart and it'll just be cold. Nothing. Lifelessness as far as you can see and beyond. Forever is just too damn long. I'm already getting tired and I'm not even halfway to my expected natural end. Run with scissors. Daring today aren't we? Maybe I'll cross the road only looking twice. Fight the bad guys. Or attempt the 10,000 calorie challenge. I'd get myself hit by lightning. Just to feel it. Well, not underscore just underscore to feel it. I'd also have the slow-mo guys there to film it. I'm quite sure it would go viral. And I'd leverage that fame to found a cult. Although I suppose if I were actually immortal and beyond all forms of damage it wouldn't really be. A cult so much as a religion. In any case, 
I'd take over and begin coming up with a social structure that he's able to incorporate research into decision making. Crazy disappointing fact for you, most people survive getting hit by lightning. Everything. Jump out of a plane. Free base. Spelunking. BMX shit. Dirt biking. Rally racing. Beat TF out of some assholes while blasting DMX like at the end of the one Rick and Marty episode. For shits and gigs. Yeah man I do everything lol. How about jumping out of near earth orbit like that guy did for Red Bull a few years ago and blooping right into an ocean like the world's highest high dive. No way I jump into the ocean. I'm jumping right into Times Square and I'm doing a superhero landing. Jump off any high ground. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. After I realize that I will outlive humanity and witness the heat death of the universe I would probably have a psychotic episode which would last a couple years. Then I would focus my efforts on helping humanity advance technologically and socially so we can explore the universe and create AI which would eventually evolve into a new form of super intelligent life that could possibly prevent the heat death of the universe and create perfect energy stasis. Then the robots would be my only company in eternity. Become a reporter in the protests. If I can't get hurt, what is there to be afraid of? Jail time. Torture time. Whenever I have dreams about being immortal, my mind always ends up in the same place. Someone finds out I'm immortal and the government captures me and runs experiments on me trying to figure out the secret to immortality and I'm stuck there unable to die as a lab rat for eternity. Probably get the recommended amount of sleep every night because I would have unlimited time on Earth. Go to school the next day and tell everyone if they can make me bleed if I do I give them five pounds. English money. Watch them all line up to try make me bleed at the end of the day I'll be rich. Absolutely nothing. All my deadlines have been removed. I just idly spectate humanity do its shit. I've always wanted to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel. You can do that normally LMAO. Not without dying. I IRC someone went down in a barrel LMAO. Space exploration funded by Elon Musk. Jump out of an airplane without a parachute just for the experience. That are off a bridge building a rocket or fighting a mummy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower discovering something that doesn't exist or giving a monkey a shower surfing tidal waves creating nanobots or locating Frankenstein's brain finding a dodo bird painting a continent or driving your sister insane I would be a female Robin Hood Batman fight crime and help the less fortunate you can use your phone as Batmobile Tell her those jeans make her look fat. You're risking eternal suffering. Start showing bastards what happens when their victims have the power to ignore consequences. I certainly wouldn't die. All the dangerous stuff people need a shit ton of equipment for. I could work with incredibly sharp objects and when I wanna show off I'll sharpen knives on my fingers. Tiger King 2.0 Swim down to the Titanic and take a look around before it disintegrates. Immediately begin smoking again. Clear minefields by running round on them. Bomb squad, minefield clearing, animal rescue, disease research assistant, etc. A bunch of crazy shit. Simple answer, everything. If I can't drown and won't suffer I'd walk around the ocean floor. Scuba is really fun and being without all the equipment would be even better. Also a lot of hang gliding. Maybe check out the inside of a volcano. Help with research. If I couldn't get sick or injured I could spend time with people who have infectious diseases or handle animals that were dangerous. Become a huge climate change activist. Need to make sure the government never find me. Like winning the lottery, you need to keep that shit secret help out at hospitals with corona those dying need someone without safety gear to sit next to them and tell them it's gonna be okay all humans deserve that slowly press a knife into my hand or something to check if it actually works before i jump off the cliff or start fighting crime as a superhero 
can I be like Wolverine and just consume cigars whiskey for sustenance? You might want to add multivitamins and raw steak for the nutrients. Visit the Mariana Trench without any equipment. Heroin. I try to live a normal life as much as possible because my newly discovered gift will surely be exploited if discovered. Personally insult everyone in the universe. In alphabetical order. I would go to the worst gang territory in South Central LA and start painting over the gang tags on sides of buildings. I'd listen to Wham and laugh as they threatened me. I have not died yet. Maybe I am immortal. How could I know for sure this isn't already the case for me? I'd conquer the world, make the leaders of every nation bow at my feet and beg for mercy. I'd make their, their, and their spelled the same way to destroy the internet then I'd go eat tacos or something not. A lot left to do after world domination. I would learn every skill. With being mortal I have limited time to learn skills and have to pick skills that either benefits me or doesn't take much of my limited time. Now, I'm thinking this means I will stay as my age, 29, for the rest of my life, which is infinity. Maybe with these skills I could live a different life for each skill. Take few years to learn piano and become pianist then art and painting etc. With each skill I think I can live in one place for around 10 years. If you haven't seen, Forever is a TV show about a man who is immortal and who has lived for 200 years. He was the best Mr. Fantastic Fight Me IRL. True. I like him as an actor a lot too. Waiting for a new season of Harrow and in the first season of Liar he was amazing. Die in front of PPL then come back to life so I could freak them out. Pose in front of cops, they can't beat me up anyway. See how many people I could scare the shit out of by doing things that would normally kill me. Wait, can I organ harvest on myself? I don't think your organs would regenerate in this scenario. I'd use the power to win wars. Be a poor Batman. Learn languages and travel. Meth. Fight crime. Try and make the world a better place. I would actually do that truly sounds like a curse. No thanks. I'd pet a bear and give it a hug. Everything. I'd go get a haircut without fearing corona. Then I'd go back to Netflix. First I would combat malaria. Then I would combat HIV, AIDS. Then I would combat slavery. Then human trafficking. Then asterisk redacted asterisk virus. And I would keep going enduring as much necessary pain as possible to help the world become better. I would also win Warren Buffett's billion dollar March Madness draft. I'll get it right enough of my trillions of years. Go out and just get grossiers without worrying about COVID. Also I would pro Bailey do things like stand on swings while swinging or something. Continue living as a normal person gathering knowledge and skills lifetime after lifetime. Just go on a 1000 year killing spree. You're immortal, not immune from prosecution. Life without parole for eternity? I'm confident that I could just keep spinning around in a circle with an axe for eternity before. They would risk getting hurt to arrest me. Have you ever heard of tasers? If I don't get injured then tasers would have no affect on me. Park a tank on you? Depends how you execute the process this can go many different ways. 1. Bet people I could do crazy things that would maim it kill anyone else to profit 3. 3. Repeat. Stand on the front line of the police brutality protests. Peacefully demonstrate. Reciprocate if met with force. I think I'd get incredibly depressed because I would know that sooner or later I would lose. Everybody and everything I have ever loved and will ever love. I you have too much of something it isn't longer desirable. I couldn't ever motivate myself to do anything because why should I do it now when I still have an eternity to do it? In addition to this there are only so many things one can do. Sure there are a million great books, movies and games and there are a million gorgeous places I want to visit but sooner or later I will have done everything there is to do and I will have seen everything that I care to see. Just gotta wait for the universe's heat death and it'll be like infinite sleep.
Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.